Hi, my name is Przemysław Michala, my nickname is Misiek. I'm fighting out of London Shoot Fighters and I'm from Poland. My name is Chris Harmon, I'm fighting out of Cardiff MMA. Hi, I've been training about 10 years, I've got 20 fights, I want to be number one. I consistently train, I train standing up and I train on the floor, so I'm always ready to go. Chris Harmon, I know you a boxer and you're knocking people out. By going to win. Misha. I don't know much about you, but I'm always ready. I hope you're ready. It's going to be a good one tonight. Gentlemen, the atmosphere here at Ultimate Challenge is electric as we move to the light heavyweight MMA action. And Ben, I'm going to bring you in here, this man here. I mean, we're looking at Chris Harmon coming in. No stranger to a tough fight, and he's really got on his hands tonight. We last saw that Chris Harmon fight against Ian Martel back in March, and he showed a very good chin and took on a very tough guy that a lot of people are talking about. Put a really good showing for himself in that one. But in other fights, we've seen Harmon has got knockout power. But against someone like Miziak, he's really going to need it. This should be a phenomenal light heavyweight war between two really great aggressive fighters. Like you see it, Ben, Chris Harmon does have knockout power, and I think that will be his strength in this fight. He doesn't want to go to the ground with Miss Heck. He wants to keep it standing. The power is in his hands, and that's what he needs to keep it standing and look for that knockout. And here we see his opponent. A fantastic camp, a fantastic lot of experience from Miss Heck. Unbelievable, six foot one, 28 years of age, and with a 14 and six record, this guy has fought some very, very, very tough guys and is a really dangerous grappler and a really seasoned veteran as well. He definitely has experience on his side, not just in the fight game, but obviously with his coaches and his team. A lot, a lot is asked of Chris Harmon in this fight, but I'm sure he can do it if he keeps it standing. And that's gonna be the key. I mean, we look at Misiak, we've seen him finish a lot of guys with some crunching ground and pound of submissions. Harmon's gonna know that and he's gonna to wanna to keep this one on the feet. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is in the Ultimate Challenge Light Heavyweight Division. <laughs> Introducing your first fighter, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a record of two wins, three losses. He weighed in at 92.8 kilograms. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. He's an independent MMA fighter, Chris Harmon! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a record of 14 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 foot 1 inch tall. He weighed in at 93 kilograms. Fighting out of London Shoot Fighters. Premislaw, Mishak Masiala! And when the action begins, the man in charge is Leon Roberts. Okay, you both know the rules, you both know exactly what I expect, okay? Protect yourself. At all times, and obey me at all times. If I ask you to break, I want a good, clean break. Any questions? Any questions? Fight hard, fight fair, fight clean. Touch gloves, back to your corners. Well, here we have striker versus grappler, but this is MMA and anything can happen. And so often we see that clash of styles, and it all comes down to game plans and who's able to put theirs forward effectively and carry that out. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Bring it on, come on. So here we go. Light heavyweight MMA underway. Light heavyweight, but Messiah looks twice the size of Chris Harmon. And there's the takedown. It's exactly the game plan. 
Harmon straight to the close guard. Sorry, he opens it slightly. Well, we know the ground and pound of Mesek is very powerful. And as you said that, he moves to side man position and gains control. Working for the underhook is Harmon. This is some fantastic work from Mesek with it on the top as he steps over his man of the north-south position. North-south looking for the key lock, looking for the back key lock. He has it. Just a matter of ripping that arm free. He might even switch to an armbar. There's a lot of options from this point. And here we see exactly what we're talking about. The decorated grappler. An attacking submission fighter. Well, Harmon doing well to hang on there. Just a matter of time. A nice body knees there. He's here isolating that. Oh, arm. and it's on. It's on. It's on. Tap. We knew if it went to the ground, it would be grappler versus striker. But the submission skills of Premier's Law Mazzara is just too much for Chris Harmon. Here we go. This you strikes, you strikes to get the takedown. Simple takedown, really, because Chris Harmon kind of dropped down to his knee at one point there. But then once in the guard, he passes the guard to get the side control. And on the ground, it's just all Premier's law. Here we have the back key lock, a knee to the body just to weaken him, let him leave go. Chris Harmon hanging on really tight, but he ripped it up there. Nice back hammer lock and a tap out from Chris Harmon. Gentlemen, we have a winner. Referee Leon Roberts calls a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds in the very first round. Declaring your winner by tap out due to Kimura, Premisla, Misha. I came here to win, and I said to myself, it's going to be no longer than two minutes. I guess you've done everyone from Poland proud tonight as well. Yeah, I think so. I want to say thank you for everyone who's coming to watch my fight. Thank you for all London Shoot Fighters, my trainer, and I said it actually. Who do you want to see you fighting next? Who's next for you? You know, of course, I want to see Jimmy Manua. You know, but I think it takes some time, you know. But I will be here, this is my house now, and I'm gonna have this bag. Great. Well, what a great win, and we'll see you soon. That was Miss Yet. Back to you, Dave. Now, Grant, it's been an explosive night of action so far. Had three big fights. What was your pick of them fights going on? Well, Lewis King was just amazing, Dave, wasn't he? I wish I had the guts to fight like that back in the day. He just threw down from the get-go and didn't let go until he knocked the other guy out. Amazing stuff. Well, do you know what? He's like a steam train. With like coal, locomotive, H bombs all thrown into one. The guy only knows one thing: going forward. Can you see a fight with Mark Weir in the line? I think a fight with Mark Weir would be great. But Mark Weir always comes with a fantastic game plan, and you can never ever write him off, even though he's about 150 years old. 156, but Mark Weir is the UK one champ, and I'd still love to see that one. Let's talk about some of the fights coming up later on. You got Jack the Stone. You got the big boys. What's your pick? Well, we've got Jack the Stone Mason, uh, he's fighting Miguel Bernard. Miguel Bernard is a master of fancy kicks, spinning back fists, flying knees, all sorts. The guys here haven't seen him yet, but I guarantee after tonight they're one are going to see him come back. Everybody remembers Jack Mason's knockout against Bowler last year. Absolutely incredible. So, who knows what way that fight's going to go. The big guys, Darren Towler, he's huge. He's fighting big Thomas Javinski from Poland, who is absolutely massive, although he's dieted down to 151 kilos. And he's got a new boxing coach who says his hands are now dynamite. That fight is just going to be explosive. Grant, you're making me excited. 